So we're in Advanced Steel 2023 and we have the power pack installed from Greatec. Under the Create Elements panel of the ribbon, we have a tool here that says Camera Creator. And it literally is what it says it is. It allows you to create a series of cameras within the model space. So let's just drop back and just take a look what a camera is. So a camera is an advanced steel object that you can place in the model based upon the coordinate system. So to orientate this camera within the model, you have to rotate the coordinate system and then come back and then pick a point in the model to change the orientation of the camera. So what does the camera creator do that's different to that? So under this tool, we can come in and we can see that we have an orientation panel here. And we have standard orientations, as you would see under the view cube from advanced steel. So if we just change that to plan there, you can see that that's top and that's what we've called plan. And then you've got front, left and right and the ISO views as well. So looking at the cube that's in front of us, we can actually place a camera using the place camera button and picking a point in the model. Changing this will change it and allow us to place it on the front and change the orientation of the camera. And similarly on the back, we can place a camera as well. So quite quickly doing this, you can see that you can place the cameras within the model without actually needing to change the coordinate system. Similarly, we've done this for the isometric views that you would see as standard representations within the model space under advanced steel. So quite quickly, again, I'm just going to place these four ISO cameras here on this corner of my cube representation. One final option we have is current UCS. In order to use that, I do need to rotate the model to a specific user-driven UCS. So you can see here that I've changed the current UCS or the current rotation of the model to a custom view, let's say. And now I can change the UCS to be a user-driven type. If I now return to my camera creator dialog, and if I pick this option here and go place camera, I'm going to use the 0, zero point within the model. You can now see that the camera has been placed and the indicator of the view direction is along the Z axis of the UCS. So quite quickly you can see that you can place a series of cameras within the model. So let's just remove those to start off with and go back to the start again. So part of the other options available covers the actual standard use of the parameters and variables available within the camera itself of advanced steel. One of those is the description field. So under here, if we type something in here, and then if we use the token that's just noted above in the above the description field text box counter, we can then start to place a series of cameras in a sequence and it will reference this counter reference up here. So let's go through that process again. Place cameras, go to top, back, place camera, obviously front, place camera, right. And let's just do the left just to finish off a little sequence there. If we exit that, we can see how the counter is influenced into the description field. Make a note of the reference here, six. So if we exit that, so if we look at the first camera that we placed under its properties, we'll see it says type one. If we look at the last one under here, it should say type five. So that can be quite useful within the creation of cameras. So say you wanted to create a series of uh, details, and they might be one, two, three, and four. So you could put them in using that and using the token. Similarly, this can be used with a letter as well, placing that in the model and then typing in here and then putting in the same reference, making sure to set the camera type under here 
and then obviously you could come in and set your drawing style. The first initial list that you see is the advanced styles within the drawing style manager. If you wish to see the user branch, you need to check this box here and you'll see that the dialog is reset. Now, obviously you probably won't notice much difference unless you have a dedicated user style available. So in this case, I've got a sample put into the system. I can set the scale. So now I can actually come in and place the camera again. And now I have the drawing style set. Pick a point in the model. And again, just run through the same sequence again as I wish to place the cameras. Each one of these will create a separate camera with a separate note based upon the counter. So let's just exit that again. And if we go back in here and look under the properties of the camera, type A, we can see that we've set the drawing style, the camera type. And obviously this is changing. C depends on which one and obviously the sequence that you went with D. So again, you can create a series of cameras and place them in the model. Let's just come back into the camera creator again and obviously the dialogue is reset. So let's put a different figure in here. Put a different bit of text. Use the counter reference again. I now want to activate the parameter fields in here. These again are available inside the standard camera operation. So under here, I can type in values that I want the extremities of the camera to cover. Similarly in here, I want to change the value there and obviously there. Just going to pop in and set my camera style and set my scale. And then I'm going to place that camera in the model, maybe based upon an isometric view point. So let's pick this corner here and obviously repeat that operation without actually changing or rotating in the model. I'm just changing the orientation here. Exit the command and obviously we can see there that the detail has come through under the description field. Again, the detail but more importantly, the detail box is now completed to the parameters that we entered under the camera dialog when we were using the camera creator. And the various cameras have been added to the model within the sequence that we set. So with this, we believe that it adds productivity to the user to enable them to place a sequence of cameras within the model quite quickly for conditions that may be not normally covered by standard model views where you can activate cameras as well. So this is complementary to our other two tools that are in here, which is the line to grid tool and the multi grid level tool, which allows you to activate cameras within model views as well. And this is all linked to help you derive drawings from the system using camera processes and drawing styles.